Welcome back to our weekly YouTube uh, series uh, that we've been hosting um, with new topics on COVID-19 support. This is our series at this time. If it's your first time joining us on YouTube, we hope you'll subscribe. We launch new content every week uh, around COVID-19 support as it relates to UV disinfection, deep cleaning, and other life safety uh, requirements. Today, we are going to discuss uh, UV disinfection in the meat and processing and food industry and uh, go through the, the steps and the recommendations uh, for being safe in the workplace. So our agenda today is talk about LSS holdings and it is also to introduce you to UV lighting how UV disinfection works and the benefits of UV disinfection, and then how it applies to meat processing and food industry, which we're seeing in the news uh, daily. So LSS Holdings is uh, made up of three companies, Hughes Environmental, who's bringing you this discussion today. Uh, they're responsible for environmental facility cleaning, duct cleaning, ceiling and rafter cleaning, and combustible dust remediation and then LSS Life Safety Services, known for our fire smoke damper inspections and repairs, fire door inspections, fire stopping, and UVC lighting solutions. And then launching in May, SafeNetics, the online safety e-learning certification platform, and uh, coming this month. So what is UV lighting? UVC lighting uh, is a disinfection method that uses short wavelength ultraviolet light to kill or inactivate microorganisms by destroying nucleic acids and disrupting their DNA, leaving them unable to perform vital cellular functions, stopping them in tracks, not being able to grow. Uh, UVC light refers to the ultraviolet light with wavelengths between 200 and 280 nanometers. Light in the UVC wavelength can be used for disinfecting hospitals, sterilizing services, destroying harmful microorganisms and food products and in the air. We're really uh, focused on chemical free disinfection for this discussion and being able to use chemical free disinfection against COVID-19, as well as bacteria, viruses, yeasts, mold spores, spoilage microorganisms, and then uh, the bonus is uh, promoting odor control as well. All very uh, top of the mind when we're talking about food manufacturing. So how does UV lighting work to disinfect? UV light is electromagnetic radiation with wavelengths shorter than visible light, but longer than X-rays. So that short wavelength UVC is considered a germicidal UV. So wavelengths between 200 nanometers and 280 nanometers are strongly absorbed by nucleic acids. The absorbed energy can result in defects to that organism, breaking that chain, changing them. The defects prevent replication or can result in death or inactivation of the organism, stopping them and killing them. So the good news is that FDA and USDA has approved uh, for surface decontamination and enhanced food safety UV lights. So you can find them in some existing equipment that come with UVC lights, but many of the uh, pieces of equipment and handling procedures um, can be upgraded and updated and add these pieces of equipment. So we can install them in HVAC coils for air makeup systems as well as putting them into uh, processes. But when they are installed, uh, UV lighting provides ongoing protection from mold and organic buildup. It also destroys airborne, airborne bacteria and viruses. And there is a, a benefit as well, an actual ROI benefit on cost savings for util utilities and maintenance as it relates to installing these in um, air makeup systems and HVAC. And then it also improves the overall air quality. So let's talk about germicidal UVC emitters. Uh, they prevent mold, bacteria, and yeast and viruses, as I explained, from uh, contaminating the food and meat and beverage products from the preparation of the raw materials through processing, curing, packaging, transportation, and storage. Uh, these UVC emitters are ideal for surface disinfection. 
They're also ideal for adding on to tumbling drums, conveyor and shaker systems, commercial refrigeration, and other food processing equipment. So here are the benefits broken down. Number one, they deliver 99.9% .9 surface kill rates on pathogens. Two, reduces or eliminates mold and fungal volatile uh, VOCs, volatile organic compounds that emanate from uh, HVAC systems. Three, delivers continuous protection with no per pound processing charges. Uh, that's a great savings as well. Four, they're approved by the USDA and FDA for surface contamination. Five, no labeling requirements. Six, reduces HVAC energy costs by 15%. Um, you know, they can fluctuate. We need to do the math combined with the science. But um, typically what we're seeing is, you know, eight months ROI, which is fantastic. Uh, seven, eliminates corrosive coil cleaning, uh, extending equipment life, fantastic. Less maintenance, less downtime. Uh, that also has a value. Extend shelf life and improves production yields. Great savings. So here's a UV solution for food safety. So sterile wand is a portable device. It's handheld. It's for surface decontamination. It's chemical free. It's cost effective. It's a green alternative. It lasts a long time at 9,000 hours. Uh, it weighs only five pounds and anybody can use it. Very little training, very little um, uh, ownership responsibility and lasts a long time, very safe, very positive. Um, another would be hanging refrigeration units. Installation designs for multiple size units. So these are the ceiling and wall mounted units uh, that are designed to be able to install into these larger areas uh, like a hanging refrigerator unit. Um, they have custom built shrouds to protect the workers uh, from any of the, the bulbs in case they were to break. Uh, they save energy by restoring um, original efi efficiency in the unit and they're moisture resistant. So all the things that we look for um, in a food uh, manufacturing atmosphere. Uh, UV solutions for food safety. So after manufacturing and, and beyond, when we get closer to the consumer uh, piece, how would we use UV application equipment? Shakers and conveyor, conveyors, a great example. Light tunnels, spinning drums, and uh, then we can customize units uh, based on your needs. So the applications uh, would again be in surface disinfection, raw material decontamination, storage rooms, packaging and filling stations, commercial refrigeration, and again on uh, helping treat the air into air quality by applying them on the HVAC and the air handling units. Uh, let's talk a little bit about increasing that shelf life. So the USDA tested UV lights and found that fresh fruits and vegetable shelf life was extended by two times by using an intensity of uh, 20 uh, nanometers watts per square meter rather. And uh, so very cheaply and, and effectively protecting and increasing that shelf life for the precious commodity. Um, and with shortages, uh, in, in the news that now, this is an even greater news story to be able to increase the shelf life of your product. Um, so here's some more cases uh, regarding food handling. So as it relates to UVC and meat processing, it can be part of an FSMA five-step procedure. We can use UV disinfection systems to help meat and fish processors to improve their hygiene and safety protocols by using UV lamps, which require little maintenance and therefore allow optimum use. Harmful bacteria such as Listeria and E. coli can be destroyed through the use of disinfection. So they're again addressing more issues that have been prevalent in the processing of and handling of uh, food products, as well as uh, the other uh, the other outcomes for killing COVID-19 and handling uh, cleanliness and safety there. So UVC and dairy production is also a very strong business case. Using UV as an adjunct system to pasteurization may prove to be a beneficial process to lower 
aerobic bacteria. So uh, approved by the PMO in 2011. So it's been around for quite a while uh, for pasteurized milk uh, processing. It has low maintenance cost again, low downtime and significant energy savings. So we have some resources as usual. We have, uh, you can go straight to sterile air food safety brochure. We can also uh, go to the resources and look at the different types of equipment, knowing that you might need a customized um, uh, system for your process, but at least you can look and see some of the secondary items that uh, do not require customizations and see how they might fit in your process today. Uh, we definitely would like to talk to you. Again, Hughes Environmental is bringing you this message today. Our website, uh, HughesENV.com, our 800 number, where there's also a feature to be directly connected to someone on the leadership team for questions relating to COVID-19, uh, is available 24 hours, seven days a week. And then also you can find us at the general mailbox, info at HughesENV.com. So we thank you again for your time. We hope this message was not only timely, but relevant and helpful, but we are here to help you. And we thank you very much. And we wish all of you all the best as we continue to find new ways to work safely in this climate and, and grow our businesses. So thank you very much. And we'll see you next week.